Welcome to Temju World. This is a 360 video. You can move your phone left, right, up, down, or you can swipe left, right, up, down. If you're on your computer, you press W, A, S, D. W for up, A for left, D for right, S for down. Why? <laughs> you see the audacity of people? Get out of my way. I show them paradise and they're telling me now to get out of their way. Well, um, this is where we slept here. This guy walked here. You, do you know these people walk far? One day, these guys walk very, 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 very far to get here. But I can tell you, it's worth it for them. Yeah, he's going to the shrine. Yeah, he's going to the shrine. Yeah. They walk far. <laughs> Let me put it in the equation how far it is. The closest village, um, driving distance-wise, is... 2.5 kilometers away. If it was straight, it would have been maybe a kilometer away. But yeah, I would say 2.5 kilometers away. That's, that is the closest village. No, that's one, two, three kilometers away. And they walk here every day. You know, you walk to your mosque, you walk to your church, they walk to their shrine. He's going to the shrine. And um, like I said before, it's a beautiful morning, beautiful morning, African morning, African morning. When I wake up in the morning, African morning, and the sun is shining, the sun is shining, I feel so lovely. Oh, let me stop singing my stupid, no, my song, not a stupid song. <clears throat> there goes a rat bat. Rat bat tell me I can't sing. Here, yeah? rat bat. Well, I'll see you on the flip side. This one wants to be Sports Illustrated. Not Sports Illustrated. No, we do not celebrate that magazine. Because they're full of crap. They only... Good morning! Uh, Good morning, my neighbors. Who? The fishermen on the boat? Yes. And the birds. And the ancestors. Okay. So, another thing I've got to say. This is what we looked at when we were... Um, right before we were leaving, um, who they, who, whosoever they caught, they would bring them along here. And the small boats would come. Because this lighthouse has been here like 500 years. You know, the Portuguese came to Africa a long, long, long time. So the early slaves were Portuguese. The Portuguese would catch a slave and sell the slaves. Then the English and the Spanish came afterwards and said, oh, we don't want to buy any slaves from these Portuguese. Let's catch slaves ourselves. So anyway, so this is why a lot of people, they're from Guinea-Bissau, but because they do not know where Guinea-Bissau is, they're reluctant to come to Guinea-Bissau. But a lot of you in your DNA test, you see Guinea-Bissau, this is where you're from. So this is what happened. They dragged us here. This is the last thing we would hear and see. Took us on their boats and went straight to the Caribbean. This is the last thing we would see. So imagine leaving this, going on a boat, coming off the boat, some pink people start beating you. Imagine you're here just chilling. <laughs> no, imagine this. I'll give you the scene. I'm here in Africa chilling, minding my business, taking care of my children as, as he is. Right? Mr. Pink Man comes, catches him and his children, as you see there. They're just chilling. I'm here chilling, 
she's chilling. Take us on a boat. We are three months on the boat across this bloody ocean all the way to the Caribbean. Now, think now, two months later, after we were chilling here, just enjoying nature, these pink people start beating us. Wait, but two months ago, I never even saw these pink people. I was just chilling. And two months later, the pink people would beat that man, take his daughter, sell his daughter to another person, sell the son to another person. Look, they're here. It, you know, so don't think 500 years ago. Think right now. But these are the physical people that are here. They will sell a little girl to another family, sell a boy to another family, and put him to work in a plantation. Look, he's here chilling. His brother is over there catching, so they'll catch his strong brother. And say, no, he's full of much to take him. And take them and split all four of them amongst the population. So one would go Montserrat, one go Trinidad, one go Florida, and one go Cuba. The family is split up. And the pink people think it, it is okay to split, split us up like this. So when you think of slavery, it's good to think 500 years ago, but think now, because you see the physical people. The physical people are here. And her, I don't know what they'll do with her, but yeah, they'll do something with her. But if you get the idea, all of us, all six of us will be split up, different places in the Caribbean, and we were just chilling two months ago. Now imagine where you were two months ago, and two months later, all of us split up, we do not know anymore. That little girl won't see her father, that little boy would never see see her fa his father again. He would never see his brother again. He would never see me again. I would never see her again. I would never see them again. We would not see each other ever again. This is the madness. You know, you've got to be mentally unstable to do some rubbish like that to people. I think that is fine. How the hell is it fine? Look, we are chilling, minding our own business. And they just come and catch us. And two months later, we're on a plantation in a different land, taking orders like, oh, move, move. They're like, huh? Hey, what is he saying? Pop, 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 move, move, move. We couldn't even understand their, uh, their noise. I wouldn't even call it language. We could not even understand their noise. So we get beat even more because we were not understanding their noise. This is why there are so many accents in the Caribbean and in the Americas because we did not understand their noise. And these people think it is okay. It is not okay. It is not okay. But, enough of my rant. And look, when we left, this was our God. Imagine we left from here and this was our God also. Yeah. As you see, the man is going to the shrine. You walk to the mosque, he walked to the church. You walk to the church, he walks to the shrine. It's the same. So this was our God. So we left here. Left our God, went there, they beat us and told us, no, this is your God. And the ones that they took to Asia, they told them, that's your God. And we left our gods here. So if you see the funeral procession, the birth is sal sal uh, procession, and all these procession, they're normal to us. Why you think, so you people like to say, oh, I'm not African. So why do you party? Why do we have the best parties? You see the pink people's party, they stand up. Oh, can I have a glass of gin, please? Boring. 
everything in Africa is joyous. Yeah. This is why we make the best music, because we're from here. So you people in the Caribbean and America that's like, oh, I'm not African. I mix Irish and Scottish and German. Okay, your mix is not a problem. But your skin color says you're African. So, my rant, and I know I'm preaching, I'm preaching a lot today, but I'm just ranting about how it was like to be here on the shore and be taken away. Look, she's free as a bird, the children are free, and then two months later, they've been beaten like hell for no reason. They're like, wait, but I was back in... It wasn't called Guinea-Bissau, but I need to find out what it was called back then. And, hey, what the heck is wrong with these pink people? So this is why there were so many rebellion, because people were fed up. Yeah, the rebellion, because they were like, wait, look, I'm coming from what you call Togo today, or Ghana, or Nigeria, or, or Côte d'Ivoire, Guinea-Conakry, Guinea-Bissau. Senegal, Gambia. I'm just chilling. And two months later, you're beating me? Are you stupid? No, I'm not taking that. Me as a big man, you take me over there, kill me. And you take my children and you split me up for my children? No, kill me. I would rebel. So in, in, in not history, because history means his story, H-I-S, his S-T-O-R-Y, his story. So, our story, which was not recorded, there were rebellions every day. We were trying to get back here to where we were free. Every day. There were rebellions every day. But they would not put that in their books. But imagine yourself as a big man or a big woman with four or five children and they take you and your children and spit you up. How are you? No matter how many whips they give you, you will never, ever, 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 ever think, oh, this is okay. Let me take this. Never. You will never. You will piss as hell. You will piss. You rebel. You think rebellion only starts a group of people know one slave got up and said nah to help with this my five children are gone my wife my wife that I knew from childhood you took my wife and said imagine she's my wife and I've known her since I was born she knows me she knew me since she was born we were friends you know my family know her family and they took us and split us and we have six children four or five or six children and then they, they took our children and separate us from our children. Ah! No, I'm fighting every day.